Hello, my name is Jacob Monk and welcome to this short little video about the consequences of Brexit. It's only a few days since UK decided to leave the European Union. I'm not sure if they will ever leave it in the real world, but the voters have decided that UK should leave. 52% of the voters voted for leave, 48% voted for stay. That means the majority wants UK to leave. And after this decision, all the leading politicians in Britain, the leaders of uh, the Leave movement, Michael Farage, the leader of the Conservative Party, David Cameron, and probably also the leader of the Labour Party, they're all leaving politics. And that means a, new, a whole new bunch of leaders will come up in Britain and they'll be responsible for the practical work of making Britain leave UK. Sorry, making Britain leave EU, of course. Well, I'm afraid they are never going to leave because now they have just turned around. They want to be in a state of limbo. They want to say, we have left the European Union. We are not responsible for anything in the European Union. We don't have to stick to the European rules, the European taxes and so on. But still, we have access to the internal market of all the EU countries. They're really not responsible in UK. That's a problem. Personally, I hope they'll leave forever, stay out and uh, make a union with the United States instead. That would be much better because I agree with uh, General de Gaulle who once said that Britain is not a part of Europe, so they shouldn't be members of the European Union. In fact, all the time Britain has been a member of EU, they have done nothing but trying to destroy, to destroy the, the attempts to make EU work better. The reason why we have such an undemocratic European Union why we do not have transparency, why we do not have decent laws coordinating the fight against pollution, and so on and so forth. The real, for, the real uh, reason for the dissatisfaction of the European voters with EU, it is the propaganda of Britain. Britain don't want a European army because they want to be the only power in Europe with a decent army themselves. So they can conquer any country they want if they think it is necessary. Britain, they do not <coughs> want Europe, uh, Europe to unite because they want to be the strongest force, the only coherent country with a decent military and a long-standing unity, uh, political unity with USA. Therefore, Britain has done all what it can to destroy the development of the European Union. And Nigel Farage, the populist propaganda politician from the no side in Britain, he has been a member of the European Parliament for many years. Well, he is against Europe. Then why is he a member of the European Parliament? Probably because this is the best way to destroy the Parliament, to prevent the Parliament to decide decent initiatives to make EU a better place. But now the voters of Britain have decided that they shall leave. And I'm afraid that this will never happen. <coughs> I'm afraid that the coming 
UK politicians will say, well, we had a referendum, but uh, we think uh, times has changed. So although the voters said that we should leave Europe, we want to stay. But we do not want to have a responsibility. We want to have an impact on Europe. We want to keep on keeping the anti-Russian sanctions. And that means making a lot of European countries more poor. For example, Denmark. We have not had real economic growth for four or five years in here in Denmark. And one of the reasons is that we are not allowed to trade with Russia. The Danish foreign minister has secretly visited uh, Moscow around one year ago to try to make an exceptions. So the Russian counter uh, sanctions against Denmark and other EU countries, they would be lifted when it comes to Denmark. But he didn't want the Russians to tell it to anyone. It should be a kind of secret. But that didn't happen. So the Danish farmers, they cannot sell their products and they cannot f find stop substitute markets. So they have great problems. And today, Denmark has such a low economic growth that we have the highest rate of retirement in whole Europe. We are on the line with Bulgaria. And uh, the reason for that is that we have not we have no real economic growth because we are not allowed to trade with the trade partners that are closest to us and that will pay us the best prices and the biggest of these partners is the russian market well uk wants to destroy the economy of western europe they want to destroy a uh, democratic union of the European countries with a democratic leadership. They don't want that. They don't want a united Europe because they say, oh, every country has to decide for themselves. That means Europe is a lot of very small, very weak countries, 100% dependent on Britain and USA. That is very bad. Britain wants to use the European unions as a mean, uh, an instrument against Russia. That is the reason they want to, some of them want to stay in Europe because they know when they are out, they cannot make any more propaganda. First of all, directed against Germany and France, the core countries of the European Union. We also have the anti-Russian countries. Poland uh, is one of them, Estland, Litauen, Litauen. This small, stupid, 100% anti-Russian countries that has the only thing they believe in is to make uh, more military and to have a military um, rule against their own population because the Russians in Estland, they are not coming from Russia, they are living in Estland. They have been living there for hundreds of years. They are native the uh, people from Estland and the same in Letland and Litovian in Poland. There's a huge part of the population being Russians and today they don't even have the right to vote. They are discriminated. These countries are racist countries, ju just like Israel in South and South Africa in the old days. And they want to hide this. And the way they hide it is to tell NATO, oh, please build a lot of big bases here so people can understand how much the Russians want to destroy us. Well, the Russians are the your own population, living in your own countries. So you're only hypocrites. And I hope that Great Britain, I would call it small Britain, UK, will not and cannot support your idiotic ideology in the future. So what will happen if uh, 
if uh, UK leave, it is that we'll probably have a united Europe with the core countries, the Euro countries. They make a real European Parliament elected in a European election, democratic election, exactly like the elections we have it every single European country nowadays. So EU will be a real democratic union. Second, we will have a European army, and I hope so, because I want European countries to leave the American organization called NATO. NATO is a militaristic organization directed against Russia and China. They are not uh, behaving in a nice way because they have 10 times as much weapons as they have in Russia and they want to have military bases all around this country to provoke and to provoke and to provoke and certainly some accident will happen and maybe the Third World War will start. This will be the uh, effect of the NATO policy directed by USA who are not afraid because they have a missile shield <coughs> and they believe they are placed so long away that the Russians can't kill them. Well, they're wrong. The Russians can kill them and they will kill them if they start up a world war. But first of all, Europe will be destroyed, will be destroyed because Europe is the closest threat to Russia in a war. You always start destroying the closest targets. So that is what will happen to Europe if we start up a war. So please don't be stupid, although the British want you to be stupid. The Jews, they just want to sell weapons. That is their income in USA, to sell weapons, to sell bombs to any country around the world. And they couldn't sell bombs if they couldn't uh, make these countries believe that they are threatened by, by an outside enemy. And this is Russia and China and also, of course, North Korea, uh, Korea and Iran. This is the traditional four enemies in the mind of the NATO generals. These people, they are sick people. They are paid of the um, big capitalistic uh, companies making weapons because they are kind of salespeople for these uh, companies. So it is not rational what they are saying. It is a kind of marketing for the military industrial complex in USA. Uh, what will be the conclusion of this? Well, no one knows what will happen. Personally, I hope that UK will leave forever. If they come back in the European Union, everything will be the same as before. It will maybe go around six months or something. Then Michael Farage, number two, will come and make propaganda against EU and telling the British that all their problems is because of EU uh, rules. And maybe that is true. And that is the reason why they just have to leave as soon as possible. Remember, when they have made this official declaration and sent it to Brussels, then they will go two years before they will be out. So this can take a lot of time. Maybe they will wait two more years, three more years from now on before they ask to leave the European Union. And if they don't get an agreement with the European Union that they can have a lot of goods and a full access to the internal market, then they won't even apply for leaving. And then they'll say it's because of EU we can't leave the European Union. So the British, they are hypocrites. They are absolutely hypocrites. They want to trade 
to the benefit of themselves and to harm other countries. Here in Denmark, we like to compete also with the British, but on equal terms, we want to produce with the same standards, the same laws about pollution, laws about labor, as they have in Britain. And these laws are decided by the European unions. If British, they can make their own laws, and we have to follow the uh, common European Union laws, then of course the British good will be cheaper and we will lose. And that is the goal of the British, to make themselves win and all others lose. I don't like that. Thank you for listening.